besties, welcome back. Today, we are going to start with some breakfast. I'm just going to be taking some random bags of half-used items, and we're going to be making breakfast with it. I'm going to take the leftover southern hash browns, put them in some more, and we're going to fry those babies up with a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. <music> When those potatoes have a little bit of crisp on them, I'm just adding in the leftover bacon pieces we have and a leftover pack of the bar -S ham. I chopped it up in tiny pieces and I'm just going to cook this all together like you see here. I'm telling y'all, an electric skillet is amazing. You can do anything with one of these. Mm -hmm. Now, when I know the potatoes are done, I'm just going to push them all over to the side. And in this bowl over here, I mixed up some eggs and some shredded cheese with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm just going to pour it on the other side, and I'm going to scramble these up. I'm going to do it kind of separately. I know I'm going to mix some of the potatoes and bacon pieces in with the eggs, but I kind of want them to be eggs on their own and not just mixed you know so i'm just going to scramble them up separately and when they're finished i'm going to mix it all together and we're going to have a nice little scramble here and by the way i ate my scramble with ketchup and it was bomb.com and i've never had eggs with ketchup before it's a new thing for me it was so good but look how pretty she is beautiful beautiful y'all the boys loved it they ate every single bit of this scramble Loved it. Colin passed out. For lunch today, it's going to be super simple. I brought some spam from home from the pantry. I always like to have ready to eat meats when we go camping. You guys see me get this rice cauliflower veggie medley at Target. I have some soy sauce. I'm just going to make a very quick, simple, super simple fried rice with some spam. I diced up my Spam the way I wanted it. And we're gonna start frying that at first. I have my rice cauliflower bags in the microwave. They're steaming up. Makes it easier when you're cooking everything, I think. I'm going to toss in some onion powder. Lots of garlic. I like to put ginger or sesame oil in my fried rice, but we don't have that, so we're just going to make do with just some soy sauce. A lot of you may be wondering if the cauliflower rice is anything like regular rice. I'm going to be honest with you. We love rice. You guys know we love rice in this family. We like this rice cauliflower a little bit better for fried rice. I think it's so good. I 
I melted some butter on one side and I'm tossing in three eggs. This is such an easy meal to make, full of protein, full of veg. And it's totally customizable. You can put whatever you want in it. And there she is. She's done. Woo, if you can see it. She's all plated up. Easy peasy lunch. How's lunch today? It's so good. Thanks. I've already ate all of it. <laughs> When Ryder was like three, he could point out and name every dinosaur in existence. He could when he was three. besties we're back from the museum and i'm gonna make some dinner and then we're gonna do some fall crafts because it's rainy out which is fine and it's gonna be fun so for dinner what am i making filling some philly cheesesteaks and i'm gonna use an air fryer to make some french fries and i have a bunch of leftover hot dog buns that's gonna be the buns i'm trying to use up a lot of stuff that we have half packages of because I don't want to travel with it when we go back home. So that's why you seen this morning with my breakfast. Yes, let's make some Philly cheesesteaks. I'll tell you what you need for them. You guys have seen me make this recipe before because it's my favorite. But I'll tell you what we need as we go. Starting out with some butter. I want to put the lid on these first so it can help thaw out that meat.
Steaks on hot dog buns or tiny. That's why we got two plus Dusty starving. This is his plate. Yeah, Dusty uh -huh. looks good in his cowboy hat. <laughs> good. Magnificent. As you Thank you. Okay, everybody, it is family fall craft time. And every year, this is not a fall thing, <laughs> Colin. Yeah. Every year, when we do like folly stuff, we have dirty cokes. Dirty cokes aren't a fall drink. We just always do it. It's a fall drink to us. So we're gonna make some dirty cokes with you guys. Dusty went out to go get us some ice because our coke is not cold. So we need ice. And me and the children are gonna go ahead and make some caramel apple bark. It's gonna be fun. What we need for the caramel apple bark. All right, so we need some mini pretzel twists. <laughs> we need some cocktail peanuts. Some Hershey's milk chocolate chips. <laughs> some caramel dip. And some green apples. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is chop up some apples and chop some of these peanuts up in tiny pieces. I got to wash the apples first. Okay, now I'm not going to do a lot of peanuts. I'm just going to do a little bit of peanuts. What about you? And I'm going to put the lid on for me, Kai. I'm just going to run a knife okay. through them so they're not so big and chunky. I know, it would be better if I used cutting board but here's the thing Ooh, the good. well the less dirty dishes it's the okay. better oops okay. if i throw it kyle and catch it he's gonna melt the milk chocolate in a bowl in the microwave and every 30 seconds he's gonna stir it up so it doesn't burn yeah, go okay apple? i think I my nuts are chopped pretty good Ryder's doing a good job with them. Apples over here. Only for all of them? Huh? Yes, all of them. I have parchment paper and I have plastic wrap. I'm hoping it'll work. Okay, I'm laying down parchment paper. I know I could just do clean wrap. But something's telling me to lay down parchment paper, too. I don't know. It's my ancestors in Brookie. Got laid down parchment paper. So, I guess I'm going to do that because I did. Melted the chocolate. Bread. The chocolate. I melted the caramel dip and I am just going to drizzle. I want a dollop. I ain't drizzling nothing. Cause it's not really drizzly. Okay, let's put another dollop on. Baby. Okay, Colin, you can sprinkle the rest of those peanuts. I helped. Yay. So I could have I could have came with you. Let's do up close. Good job, guys. It looks beautiful. Now let's let it harden up. It looks delicious. Life hack. <laughs> if your kids are painting and you don't want to get them dirty or get their clothes dirty, 
make holes for your arms and your head and a trash bag. It works wonders. Brayden and Colin are painting pumpkins. Okay. So. Ryder's going to carve one. He's in my at the moment. What's the plans? Are you going to surprise us? I don't know. <laughs> you just feeling I'm, it? I'm not. I'm, I'm making freaking signs. <gasps> that is cool. I'm, I'm just going with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. Well, wait. Are you can make freaking sign or a witch. <gasps> Ooh, a witch would might be good. You can make the little stem the hat. We thought it would be easier to get the little pod pumpkins instead of the big ones. Oh. But are you right or are you going to roast your... I think I am. He... I got cinnamon, I have brown sugar, I have sugar. You got eggs? Yeah. Okay, it'll take a day, but we'll do it. Alrighty. Now, when you're making dirty Cokes, the best thing, the easiest thing to get is the coffee creamer that is coconut flavored. But nobody around here sells it. <laughs> At home in Tennessee, everybody has it, but nobody here has it. So we're going to have to make our own. To make our own coconut syrup, we're making coconut syrup, not coconut creamer. Is gonna make it creamer anyways um you're gonna need some of this coconut extract you're gonna need some sugar and some water and i know it's gonna look so ridiculous how much sugar you're gonna need but it's how you make it you're gonna need a cup of sugar <laughs> you're gonna need a cup of water i know I know. You ain't gotta say it, I know. Let's let that sugar dissolve. Okay, we're gonna put two teaspoons. I'm eyeballing it like normal. And that will make coconut syrup, and you could even use this in coffee. It's like um, kind of a copycat of that coffee syrup that you can buy in the glass bottles. Dang, it smells good. Now I'm just gonna let that dissolve and do its thing and then we'll be back to make dirty cokes. Okay, making dirty cokes. Gum ice in my cup. It's all about personal preference. How much coconut, how much lime you want. Okay, you put the lime in the coconut. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for that. Juice of half a lime is what I normally do. That coconut syrup we made, one tablespoon, then half and half, tablespoon. And it look, that's why they call it a dirty Coke, because it looks gross. It looks dirty, but it's so good. This is the only thing they sewed with lids, and the kids needed lids. <laughs> Boom! We got a dirty Coke! You can't see it. <laughs> okay, Bray, give the dirty Coke a go. Mmm, that's a good dirty Coke. These are busting no cap. <laughs> it works. I love dirty cokes. Tastes good. Are we struggling? Yeah, my hand's too big. Oh my. Do you need help? You're gonna be stained orange. Do you need help? Oh. Ooh, Colin, that's crazy good. Well, I, I no. so Oh, I you're not ready? Mm -mm, not even close. That is Colin's pumpkin. He did such a good job. Is it Frankenstein? Yes. Nice. I like it. Let's try it. He wants to be the first. I'll sacrifice myself. <laughs> mm. Very sweet. Tastes good though.
Mmm, that's so good. It's coming from inside the finish. That's really good. Then what? Why maybe? This is my lifelike pumpkin remake of the face of Kevin Bacon. I see absolutely nothing. <laughs> Rod, are you really done with it? Not it's beautiful, but are you done with it? Yeah, it looks just like them. Leave it to Rodder to make it into something funny. Ooh, very nice progress. Yes, but I actually colored the face accident. It's okay. It looks good. Yes, I don't have this hole in it. Brayden, you ready to show yours? Brayden is ready to show his pumpkin. One, two, three. He made it into Notre Dame. Because Brayden is a Notre Dame football fanatic. It looks really good. Let her draw. As soon as she draws, you can put her over there next to Kaka's. Good job. It's going to take a little bit for it yeah, to dry. It's a little thick. It might take overnight, but it looks good. Uh, now the kids are going to make some Indian corn. I think that's what it's called. And they're going to make little Indian corn decorations out of beads. It's going to look so cute. I want to show everybody how you do this. So you can do it with your kids. Okay. You're going to need four pipe cleaners. Preferably brown. But either one will do. You're going to take two. Make an X. And flip it over. So it's still an X. I'm going to do it again in the middle. You could honestly probably do it with three. We'll just stick with three. We'll see how three looks. Okay. So you're going to have like this little pattern. Yeah, it looks like spider And then you're just going to let the kiddos fill it up with beads. Each little pop cleaner. However they want. Because remember, the corn that we use for decoration in the fall, it's different colors. It's beautiful. And after all these get filled, I'll show you what you do after. Brayden filled his up with the little beads. Just flip it up like this. And it makes a little corn stalk. Little Indian corn. It's so cute for decoration. Nice! Okay, guys, have you had fun with today's fall activities? Mm -hmm. Even though, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, Ryder's 14, but he still enjoyed it, didn't you? Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> favorite part? Painting us. Colin, favorite part of today? Mm, everything. Okay, I'll take it. Ryder, favorite part of today? Yeah, it's pretty distinctive. Cheese. Right, you finish your corn? Mm-hmm. Beautiful! It's the next day, and I totally forgot to do an outro last night, and I'm editing this, and I'm like, where's my outro? Here it is. I look awful. Um, it's our last day. We're cleaning up. We're packing up. I look a mess, but it's fine. We're besties. It's totally cool for me to look a mess.
I hope. Anyways, um, I love you guys. This is the last video for the camping series. Last video, regular programming will continue probably Saturday or Sunday. We'll see. I love you guys. Remember, as always, be positive, be calm, be happy, and I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye.